Peter Stewart in real life. Tweeter Stewart on Twitter, T W W E T E R S T E W A R T. Several weeks ago, we were talking, weren't we, about characterizations, how you build a character for things like cartoons, animation, anime, and gaming. Then we moved on to audiobook narration, and now we're talking about several other different areas, niche areas of voiceover production work. Today, one day only, Voicing audio descriptions. Just a little bit of advice on this. What is AD? What is audio descriptions? Well, this is a voiceover which describes what's happening in the scene of a movie to benefit those who are visually impaired. So these are people who can hear the dialogue, but otherwise they find the plot difficult to follow. They know what's being said, but don't really know the context of when it's being said. And also, if you imagine this, very often in movies, you can see something which helps tell the story, but it's not necessarily ever mentioned by any of the characters. So this could be in a particular kind of movie. Think of, uh, I don't know, a murder mystery for example. You can see some clues, you can see somebody standing in the shadows. Even in a fast-paced action movie, you may want a description, if you can't see it yourself, of what is happening. There could be a couple of minutes of a car chase, for example, with some loud music and some sound effects of crashes and bangs and thumps and all the rest of it, but wouldn't you really like to know what was going on? So, if you go into this area of audio description, the script will be provided for you in which elements like the action, the settings and the costumes, yeah, think about the costumes, will be described, but also along with other visual elements that will help tell the story. A a facial expression of an actor, uh, somebody who, who overhears a conversation, and also, as I say, what is going on when there's no dialogue to follow. You don't act, per se, but you narrate what's going on. You're not so immersed that you become part of the show, but you're not so remote and robot-like either. You're a little bit away from the action. You're not really narrating. You're a little bit stepping away from that. But audio description is not just used for films and TV. It's also required for, think about it, educational videos, art and museum exhibitions, conferences, plays as well. And there's more on audio descriptions. You can listen to a BBC documentary, which I'll link to in the show notes. That's it for today. Tomorrow, voicing and producing audio guides. Yeah, for galleries and museums and so on. There's a market for that. Maybe it's a market that you can get involved in. I'll tell you more as Get A Better Broadcast podcast and Voice Over Voice continues. From London, I'm Peter Stewart. <laughs>